guys uh, welcome back to my channel so today uh, in this video we're going to talk about a recent launch from asus so like uh, asus have recently launched asus uh, rogue 5s and 5s pro in india so it is going to be officially being sale uh, in flipkart from feb 16th as well so it is completely a gaming phone and i think so like many people have gone through its specs and you have many doubts or like maybe you would have shocked by looking at its price and so so here in this video like i will talk about what are the specs actually is there like what is the worth for this 80k and everything i'll talk about this and at last with my personal suggestion so in this video we're going to talk about asus rogue 5s pro specs so why i'm going to talk about is this is basically the difference between like 5s pro and 5s is just uh like two to three specifications has been just been removed from 5s pro so that's it so i'll just uh, like talk more about this 5s pro first so starting with the base like we'll start with its uh, like it's like outside of the phone like its screen and everything so here it comes with 6.78 inches uh, AMOLED LED display and here they are using a model display of Samsung E4 so which is quite good and also talking here is what is the difference between LED and LCD display I'll just give a small difference here so suppose if you are kind of a person like uh, who use uh, the usage of your phone is too much in your day times and then uh, LCD is a good option and also for photographies, blogging, vloggings and so LCD is a good option whereas an LED is good for the people who use your phone at the day times in the, same, in the night times like suppose if you are going to just switch off your lights and if you are going to use it then LED display is a good option for you and also for photographies, blogging and everything LED is good but still you just get a small adaptive brightness so that's it so this is what the major difference between these both screens and also it purely depends on company's perspective their manufacturing cost, their profit percentage each company chooses whichever display they want and there are different types here you have in-plane switching LCD display here OLED, Super AMOLED, AMOLED, Infinite AMOLED so there are many displays so here company is using a AMOLED display which comes with 1018 to 2000 340 pixel resolutions which is quite good and also here you have 8k video recordings like you can do so talking more about it is here it comes with 1200 nights of brightness always on display fdr so that is quite good as well so 1200 nights of brightness is so good so like talking about the small small things and uh, coming to the next things is um is the phone's main things like about related to gaming so the first part is ppi density that is ppi like pixel per inch density so what is basically is ppi is uh i'll just give you a small info here so suppose like if you take any screen uh, in this world uh, each screen is made up of small small things named as pixels so like uh, to know what is pixel basis example is uh, if you take any older phones like any older phones photos if you just zoom in then you might have seen the pixel like it'll be in square square escape shape so that is what basically is named as pixel so here like the combinations of pixel how the together density is that is what is defined as ppi density and what is the use of this ppi density is basically the more ppi you have it will show you good clarity of images the lines the dots in your screen will be good and also this ppi density is also dependent on your screen resolutions as well suppose if you have good resolutions and if your ppi is less then it is kind of affecting it is kind of going to affect your screen to be open but still if your ppi is high and if your resolution is also high then during your gaming experience your clarity will be so so good color experience and everything will be good and image clarity so that was the main use of ppi and for usually for gaming phones the ppi density will be more than 400 but here on asus the ppi density is 395 so which is quite less but still comparing to its resolution pixel resolutions it is quite good but still uh, it will not affect the overall experience of your gaming but still like on clarity point of view you might have a small clarity issues but it is not going to affect you on a major scale and for most people you are not even going to notice it so that's it so this is what about its ppi density and talking more about it we have to talk about refresh rate so basically what is this refresh rate is uh, the pixels which is uh, there in your screen uh, will start refreshing for every second so that is what basically is named as refresh rate so so to know more the example which I can give you is suppose if you are playing with your friends any kind of online game maybe PUBG, Free Fire, Call of Duty any game you take suppose if an enemy comes in uh, irrespective of your uh, internet connection and so your screen will start getting lagged 
it may be for one to two seconds so that uh, lag or in your phone can even get stuck so this is mainly due to this refresh rate in the sense like your screen has to refresh every single second so uh, as much more like if your phone has good refresh rate then you will not be having lag irrespective of your internet connection as well so the maximum refresh rate which is available till now is 144 hertz so this phone also has 144 hertz refresh rate which is quite good and talking more about its is touch sampling rate so what is this touch sampling rate is basically if you are uh, using any whatsapp or insta if you are typing someone some messages then you might have noticed that you have typed uh, you have uh, pressed the letters in the keyboard but the letters to appear on the screen will take some time so that is mainly due to this sampling rate in the sense your screen is not able to sense all your finger sensors so that is what the main thing here is so if you take normal phones it will be 180 hertz and so so here they are giving 360 hertz which is quite good it will be so useful for your gaming perspective so that's it so this is about refresh rate uh, sampling rate and so so coming to the next thing is aspect ratio so here you have 16 into 9 it support the length and width of your uh, pixel and uh, next thing is screen to body ratio that is if you take 100 percentage of your screen then what is the percentage of screen and your body so here the percentage is 82 percentage in the sense like 82 percentage will be your screen and rest will be your body so maximum of your uh, friend screen will be uh, frame part will be completely screen and the next new thing like which is available only in asus 5 5s and 5 pro is in is basically secondary uh, matrix like a pm order so which will be in back of your phone like where you can get your notification call looks and everything so which is quite good while you're playing games and so it will be quite useful and also it has genie overlay game genie overlay so where you will get a small pop-up like notification where you can see your messages notifications as well when you're playing your game so that's it so this is about it's uh, like screen like what are the things can is there and talking next thing which we have to move on is it's chipset so here the company is using snapdragon triple eight uh, plus 5g chipset so which is quite good but still this chipset is launched one year ago i don't know why company used this it is kind of a lag but still uh, they are just uh, using this with um lpddr5 so which is quite good because this ram is better than dram uh, so and also here they're using ufs uf uh, ufs 3.1 so universal flash storage so here the read and write instructions will be multiplied three times so that all the instructions all the things which you are planning to do in your phone will get faster and it will be done so quickly as well so talking about its chipset part it's good but i don't know why they use snapdragon 880 like triple eight plus because it's quite less compared to like there are many good like exynos 911 and so and so i don't know why they are they are still going with snapdragon so coming to the next thing is they are combined they are just combining the snapdragon with 12 gp of ram no 18 gp of ram with 512 internal storage for a uh, 5s pro whereas for just five years you have two variants 128 uh, and so so whichever you want you can go so this is about this chipset part so coming to the next thing is about its camera so as you know rogue does not uh, like give more importance to its camera it focus more on its gaming perspective like rogue specifications so here as well there's going to be no uh, like new thing in that so print you have triple camera with 64 megapixel as primary with aperture of 1.8 so which is quite good and uh, it comes with i think so sony imx 686 whereas uh, next thing ultra wide is 13 and 5 is macro whereas in friend you have selfie for uh, 24 megapixel and you can take 8k videos so those things all those stuff slow motions camera movement all those things are available so that's it so this is about its camera part so coming to the next thing is the sensors available here so this is kind of new and which is also important because gaming so the first thing is here you have uh, our triggering uh, sensors so in the sense you can just convert your phone into a console and just by swiping in R you can play your phones like you can play your games and next thing is uh, here you have cooler 5 so which is quite good like aerostatic uh, cooler 5 so all your heat will just go out so there's going to be no issues in that and then you have friend facing magnet 7 uh, stereo speakers so which is also quite good two speakers so like the sensing part and everything is good and talking more is here you have um, auto wizard so what is that is uh, suppose like if you connect a new headset or uh, to your uh, rogue then uh, you can just rerun this auto wizard where it will start finding finding the exact wavelength like what your 
phone should be uh, there for your headset so those things are good like your controllers and so you can just use this auto wizard and then there is great app so what does this great app does is it's so good across great app so what is what is this great app is basically uh, it just gives updates to your uh, motherboards and also the other things which is there inside your phone so which is so so good and also you as i mentioned before you have this game genie overlay so what does this thing does is it is going to be a small icon notification whenever you're playing you can just see the other notification call logs and everything so these things all are available uh, in this phone uh, like which we can talk about sensors then there are gps glno as nfc uh, android uh, like 11 it's running and you will have uh, asus ui so like these things are all we can talk about sensors part and coming to the final thing is um, about his battery so here it comes with dual cell 6000 mah 65 watts fast charging you can charge like your 0 to 70 percentage in half an hour so whereas 100 percentage in 52 minutes so which is quite good and talking more here it comes with dual sim so who is interested you can go for it android 5.1 is there like uh, sorry bluetooth 5.1 is there so like those things are good so this is about its battery and also i think so like it wins in uh three uh testing like unto two benchmark and uh um vfx beans so like three uh testings also it has been done so bleed so like those things all are good so like on the whole like this is about this asus rogue 5s pro all specs and uh the things which is not there like the things which is not going to be there in 5s so that is quite important so basically the camera the other specification everything is going to be the same the only differences is uh, in its ram and then there is not there is like you will not get a secondary p matrix um, like a model display so those things and also are triggering sensors so these three things are not going to be available in fires so this is just a minute variation whereas on camera uh, refresh rate touching samples rate and everything is going to be just the same so that's it so this is the difference between fires and fires pro so coming to the price like 5s pro comes for 80k uh, only single variant and it is going to be available only in black color so whereas here it comes in two variants one is for 47 and next one is for 60k so that's it so on the whole like i would suggest you if you're planning to take 5s then i will say please go for 5s pro because you can just buy it once and you can keep your phone for maybe like three to four years you don't have to change because everything is going to be good your phone is not going to be get lagged or heated or any issues nothing is going to be good you have to just maintain it good and make sure that your storage is good that's it and uh, your phone is good to go for at least three to four years there is even more issues you don't have to change your phone that's it and suppose if you're planning to buy phones on gaming perspective like on uh, camera perspective then i will definitely say this phone is not a good choice for you look for redmi 11s it does 108 megapixels for 20k 30k there are good phones you can go for that so on the whole if you're planning to take 5s pro you can go for it the small things which is problem is ppi density it's 395 but it's not going to show a huge impact on gaming suppose if you're planning to buy a gaming monitor and so then ppi and resolution matters so much so here ppi density and also chipset is not that much because it launched one year back but still uh, comparing its ram and ufs speeds there's going to be no issues everything is going to be smooth so this is about asus rogue 5s pro so definitely you can go for it if you're interested you're not going to recreate at all so that's it so with this i'll just end this video and if any doubts are related to this maybe in specifications or anything please comment below like i'll surely reply to it so hope so you like this video if like it give it a thumbs up so like this content i'll just meet in the next video so till then peace from k squared bye